Okay. So we're gonna cook uh, noodles with chicken, cabbage, and carrot, celery. So we're gonna try to do something and we're gonna record it. So first, let's peel the cabbage. Let's cut what we need. So that's enough. So I'm just going to wash it now. We're going to take a bowl. Now we're going to cut it. So we cut it into small pieces for the cabbage to be you know kind of raw and we're gonna put some cold water in okay so this is how it looks like now we're gonna take a carrot Now I'm cutting my carrots like this, you don't have to do it like this, but... And don't worry about fingers, you will not cut your fingers if you're doing it on the angle. So, okay, that's enough. We're going to put it with the cabbage. Now we're going to take the celery root. This is what basically is uh, our, we're gonna be replacing the, how do you call it, bamboo, yes, like this, but we're gonna do it in really small chunks, so the taste is spread all around the food. Now we take everything and put it together. So that's the vegetables. So we are going to take one kale leaf and we're going to, it's washed and we're going to squeeze it really good. And we're gonna put it in the bowl with other veggies. So this is gonna be the vegetable base. 
and it's good to put it in the water so it will keep the color and now we're gonna uh, do the meat the chicken so we're gonna take the chicken breast we're gonna cut it now how I'm cutting it it's not everybody's cup of tea but that's how I do it so it's one piece this for two pieces and then what I like to do is this it's on the angle so it very soft when it's done and it's very fast cooked. And this one we're gonna do this. So that's the meat and this is gonna go and we're gonna put it in the small bowl. And we're gonna put some, so we're gonna put some soy sauce in, we're gonna put some pepper gonna put some salt we're gonna put some uh, bicarbonate soda it makes it a little bit more tender just a little bit and we're gonna put some oil and we're gonna put some basil a little bit Then we'll stir everything together, put some more soy sauce, because we want that brown color. And we're gonna let it sit in the fridge for half an hour while we're cooking the noodles. And see you soon guys! So the noodles are cooking, as you can see, while the noodles are cooking we're gonna take an egg. We took an egg and we stirred it really good with just a little bit of salt, I left it aside. And what I do with noodles is just put it in a boiling water and let it sit a little bit and then drain it and the noodles are perfectly cooked and they're, if there's too much you can always reuse them so that's good so we got noodles we got vegetables we got an egg and we got chicken and we're gonna see what happens next talk to you soon so what we do first is uh, we do an egg oh I'm sorry a little bit water so we do an egg first and what we do is this just gonna put it in the other hand so it just do it in the chunks and try 
is pretty good. I think I should turn the thing on for the... But it's gonna be loud. I hope you hear me. So until it turns brown, let's just let it just... prepare a plate where we're gonna put egg on so it is done so the egg is here and now we're now we are doing the chicken so we're just going to stir it and of course I did not turn the heat so we're just going to stir it until it I'm sorry I'm doing it with one hand I didn't put it on the you know, holder so anyway I'm going to stir it for a little while and then we see each other again so after the chicken is done, we put vegetables on the chicken and put a lid on and on the lower fire and let it, uh, you know, just a little bit like for a few minutes in their own, uh, you know, water, no, vapor, yeah. So yeah, I was looking for a word, it's steaming, so it steams itself inside. The egg is here, the noodles are here, and uh, we're gonna clean, clean up a little bit while this is simmering, so talk to you later. So guys, I just put it to, you know, to finish it a little bit, and then we put it on the strongest fire for a little bit for it to, you know, just to get some color, we're gonna stir some, sorry I'm trying to hold my phone, and not to drop it in the food, I'm gonna stir some. Smells really good. And as always, you're gonna put some pepper, black pepper, if you like it, of course. It's good for the digestion. So in the end, you take the egg and put everything inside and stir it again. Sorry, drying. Of course, everything is flying and turn the fire off. Just give it a good stir, trying to hold the wok, but it doesn't work that well because I'm holding the phone with the left hand and that's... Uh... So this is the... After it's done, what I do... After it's done, I put a lid on again for it to be in their own juices, the meat and the egg and the veggies and wait for it to calm down and after it's done, I'm gonna 
put it on a plate and then you'll see the finished product. Wish me luck. So guys, this is the finished meal. As you can see, it's very colorful and it's very tasty. So hope you like this video. Trust me when I tell you, it's very tasty. Love you, see you soon.